We're counting down the 16 most astonishing dinosaur forensics cases that have rewritten the prehistoric rulebook. From freak accidents and savage combat wounds to clues of ancient diseases and parenting instincts long buried in stone, these investigations reveal just how much we've misunderstood about the real lives and deaths of dinosaurs. Some cases will expose brutal battles, others shocking survival against impossible odds, and a few might even change what you thought was possible for these ancient titans. Which forensic mystery shook up science the most? Let's start the countdown at number 16, where resilience meets relentless bad luck. In the 16th place, Parasaurolophus stands as a forensic mystery, rare in the fossil record and even rarer for leaving behind evidence of injury or survival. Unlike its hadrosaur cousins, no Parasaurolophus skeleton has revealed a history of shattered bones, infection or dramatic healing. The most complete skulls like RAM 14000 and ROM 768 show pristine bone surfaces. No fractures, no lesions, no telltale signs of trauma. CT scans and museum reconstructions focus on that iconic crest, not battle scars. For now, Parasaurolophus remains the ultimate enigma, a dinosaur whose medical file is still blank, waiting for science to catch up with its secrets. Number 15. Stegosaurus. Armed with tail spikes sharp enough to pierce predator armor, but sometimes the weapon turned traitor. Paleontologists discovered a pelvic wound in one specimen, perfectly matching the shape of a tail spike its own. CT scans revealed telltale signs of bone healing, proof that this was a living injury, not a post-mortem fluke. Biomechanical models show that a sideways whip of the tail, delivered with enough force to break bone, could easily have gone off target. In the wild gamble of evolution, even the best defense came with a hidden cost. Sometimes the danger wasn't behind you, but under your own skin. Number 14. A titanosaur from Villa El Chocon met its end not by a predator, but by a volcano's fury. The skeleton lay fully articulated, limbs splayed just as they collapsed, no scavengers, no time for decay. Layers of volcanic ash sealed the bones, a chemical fingerprint in the matrix confirming a death by suffocation and crushing debris. Stable isotope analysis traced the ash's rapid fall, showing a burial so swift that even fragile biofilms survived on the bone. In this prehistoric crime scene, nature itself played executioner and left behind a perfect forensic snapshot of disaster in action. Number 13. Edmontosaurus, caught in a prehistoric ambush, but the story doesn't end there. Micro-CT scans revealed a raptor tooth embedded deep in the vertebrae, surrounded by layers of bone regrowth. Multiple shattered spinal segments, fused and remodeled, show this hadrosaur survived a predator's attack and lived on for months, a walking fossil of pain and resilience. The forensic clarity is undeniable. The attacker left its calling card, and the victim's skeleton tells the tale of both trauma and recovery. In the world of dinosaur forensics, this is survival against the odds, proof that the line between hunter and hunted was never as clear as it seemed. Number 12. Allosaurus, Jurassic apex predator with a jaw built for bone crushing but not invincible. One fossilized mandible tells a grim story. A spiral fracture runs through the bone, a break so severe it twisted the jaw out of alignment. CT scans map the damage, while histology reveals a desperate attempt at healing, woven bone forming at the margins. But infection set in, osteomyelitis eating away at tissue and sepsis likely finish the job. Even the top hunter could lose a bet with dinner. Here, the price of a failed attack was a slow, agonizing death. In the prehistoric food chain, risk cut both ways. Number 11. Euoplocephalus an armored tank of the late Cretaceous, but no stranger to violence. Paleontologists uncovered skulls riddled with fractures, some so precisely shaped they match the contours of an ankylosaur's own tail club. CT scans reveal layers of remodeled bone, proof that these weren't fatal blows, but battle scars from head-to-head -head clashes. 
The repeated pattern of healed cranial impacts rules out random accidents or predator attacks. This is evidence of ritualized combat, likely over territory or mates. Far from passive, these herbivores wielded their tail clubs with enough force to fracture skulls, turning peaceful pastures into prehistoric battlegrounds. Number 10. Therizinosaurus, an herbivore with claws that looked more at home on a horror movie set. For decades, paleontologists puzzled over its anatomy, even mistaking it for a giant turtle relative. That all changed with the discovery of an articulated skeleton in Mongolia. Deep grooves ran across the belly ribs, and embedded in the bone were claw tips, evidence of a brutal battle. These weren't predator bites or random fractures, they were slashing wounds likely inflicted by another Therizinosaurus. The injuries forced a total rethink. Those massive claws weren't just for show or foraging, but could turn deadly in combat. Forensics turned a misunderstood oddity into one of prehistory's most dangerous vegetarians, proof that in the Cretaceous, even salad eaters could wield weapons. Number 9. Gorgosaurus. Victim not of tooth or claw, but of a disease that stalks even the living today. In 2003, paleontologists noticed an odd swelling on the lower jaw of a Gorgosaurus skull from Alberta. High-resolution CT scans revealed an expansile lesion deep in the bone, with no signs of fracture or infection. Thin section histology ruled out abscess and fungus, leaving one chilling diagnosis, metastatic cancer. For the first time, a dinosaur was confirmed to have suffered from a malignancy nearly identical to those seen in humans. The team brought in radiologists and oncologists, their verdict unanimous. This was no injury. This was cancer eating away from within, rewriting the boundaries of dinosaur medicine and showing that even apex predators were not immune to the silent killers that haunt life, ancient and modern. Number 8. A titanosaur from Argentina fell not to a predator's jaws or a volcanic eruption, but to a far subtler assassin, microscopic blood parasites. Synchrotron imaging revealed a maze of tiny channels carved through the dinosaur's leg bones, structures that closely resemble the damage left by trypanosome-like pathogens in modern reptiles. Elemental mapping detected chemical traces linked to infection, while scanning electron microscopy exposed parasite-shaped remnants deep within the vascular canals. These findings point to an invisible war waged beneath the skin, where every heartbeat spread the invader further. Unlike the dramatic violence of a predator's attack, this was a slow, relentless consumption from within, proof that even the mightiest giants could be brought down by killers too small to see. In the prehistoric world, disease was every bit as deadly as tooth and claw. Number 7. Dasplatosaurus Apex predator of late Cretaceous Canada, but its legacy isn't just about hunting. Paleontologists uncovered skulls and limb bones marked with deep gouges and punctures, wounds that perfectly match the tooth spacing of another Dasplatosaurus. Some of these bite marks show clear signs of healing, meaning the victim survived savage attacks from its own kind. Others, though, cut straight through bone with no evidence of recovery. Proof of feeding after death. Chemical residue tests ruled out scavenger interference, confirming the attacker was a close relative, not an opportunistic outsider. These fossils paint a grim picture. In times of stress, Dasplatosaurus turned cannibal, preying on the weak and even feasting on fallen rivals. Forensic evidence here doesn't just reveal violence, it exposes a brutal social world where survival sometimes meant eating your own. Number 6. The Fighting Dinosaurs a fossilized jewel frozen in the sands of Mongolia. In 1971, a Polish-Mongolian team uncovered a scene straight out of prehistory's most brutal standoff. A velociraptor's sickle claw jammed into the neck of a protoceratops, both skeletons locked in mortal combat. The Matrix tells its own story. Fine-grained, cross-bedded dune sand, no sign of water or volcanic ash. Sedimentologists pieced together the final moments. A sudden dune collapse buried predator and prey mid-struggle, preserving their death grip for over 70 million years. This isn't guesswork. Articulated bones, undisturbed posture, and the unmistakable claw in neck articulation capture a behavioral snapshot so clear it reads like a prehistoric crime scene photo. For the first time, dinosaur science could point to a fossil and say, this is exactly how the hunt ended.
Number five, Trudon, one of prehistory's most enigmatic predators. But here, the story is about family, not fangs. In the Badlands of Montana, paleontologists uncovered a nest so complete it reads like a tragic snapshot. An adult Trudon crouched protectively over a ring of eggs, each one containing embryos at different stages of development. The entire scene, adult, eggs and unhatched young, was sealed beneath a layer of volcanic ash. No signs of scavenging, no scattered bones, just a perfect, undisturbed tableau. Sediment analysis revealed pollen and ash particles locked in the matrix, confirming a sudden volcanic event, not the slow work of time. Forensic examination of the embryos showed growth rates and developmental stages, evidence that Trudon tended its nests much like modern birds. This fossil didn't just hint at parental care, it proved it. The image is haunting, a devoted parent caught by catastrophe, giving us the clearest window yet into the softer side of dinosaur life. In a field obsessed with tooth and claw, the Trudon nest rewrote the rules. Sometimes the most powerful story is one of protection, not predation. Number four, Oviraptor. Once maligned as the notorious egg thief, now stands as the model of prehistoric parental devotion. In the Gobi Desert, paleontologists uncovered a fossilized adult sprawled directly atop a nest, arms splayed protectively over a ring of eggs. The posture is unmistakable, this was no thief caught in the act, but a parent sheltering its clutch from danger. Sediment analysis revealed a rapid sandstorm smothered the scene, entombing adult and eggs together in an instant. The fine layers of windblown sand, undisturbed and uniform, rule out scavenging or slow burial. For decades, the name Oviraptor stuck, a scientific misjudgment based on early finds. But this fossil forced a public reversal, rewriting the species' reputation and cementing the first hard evidence of dinosaur brooding behavior. The arms, curved protectively, echo the posture of modern birds, linking the distant past to the present. With this single tragic sacrifice, Oviraptor didn't just clear its name. It sparked a revolution in how we understand dinosaur parenting, setting the stage for discoveries of communal nesting and care across the dinosaur family tree. Coming to the top three, Big John, the largest triceratops ever found, offers a forensic drama that's as much about dinosaur combat as it is about the modern fossil trade. Excavated from the Hell Creek Formation in South Dakota, this behemoth boasted a skull over two meters wide and brow horns stretching more than a meter each. But it's the right side of his frill that tells the real story. A keyhole-shaped wound, about 20 centimeters long, punched straight through the bone. CT scans and electron microscopy revealed porous, disorganized tissue at the edges. Evidence of bone regrowth that suggests Big John survived the brutal horn gore for months before succumbing. The injury perfectly matches the force and shape of another Triceratops horn, confirming these giants didn't just posture, they fought and sometimes paid the price. Yet the saga didn't end in the Cretaceous. In 2021, Big John's skeleton was auctioned in Paris for over $7 million, igniting outrage among scientists who feared such a pivotal specimen might vanish into private hands. The clash over Big John's remains between public science and private collectors remains unresolved, raising tough questions about who controls access to prehistory's most important evidence. In second place, Tyrannosaurus rex. The undisputed heavyweight of the late Cretaceous meets its match not in nature's disasters, but in the jaws of its own kind. One fossilized T. rex skeleton, unearthed in Montana's Hell Creek Formation, tells a story of apex on apex violence. Massive puncture wounds pierce the skull and neck vertebrae, each gouge perfectly matching the size and spacing of T. rex teeth. No other predator of the time came close. CT scans and 3D jaw force modeling leave no doubt. These Injuries required a bite force up to 8,000 pounds, enough to shatter bone and end life in an instant. There's no sign of healing. 
death was immediate. The spacing of bite marks, the crushing of vertebrae, and the exclusion of all other suspects point to a single brutal conclusion. This T-Rex fell victim to another T-Rex. Forensics here doesn't just reveal cannibalism, it rewrites the rules of dinosaur dominance. Even the king of dinosaurs could be dethroned by its own reflection, turning the Cretaceous into a deadly arena where the top predator was always one bite away from becoming the prey. And finally, in first place, Myasaura, the so-called good mother lizard, whose mass death site at Egg Mountain didn't just rewrite a chapter of dinosaur science, it started a whole new book. In 1978, Jack Horner and Bob Michaela stumbled onto a hillside in Montana, littered with fossilized eggs, nests, and the bones of juveniles, all layered in a tangled, heartbreaking tapestry. Microstratigraphy revealed a catastrophic flood had swept through during nesting season, burying entire colonies in a single, devastating event. But it's what the bones tell us after the mud settled that changed everything. Nest after nest, each precisely spaced, held not just eggs but clusters of hatchlings at different growth stages. Some nests contained eggshell fragments, others the delicate bones of babies too young to walk. Growth histology, microscopic slices of bone, showed that these young myosaura grew rapidly, fueled by a diet only possible if parents brought food to the nest. This wasn't a cold-blooded reptile laying eggs and leaving. The evidence screamed parental care, provisioning, and a social structure closer to modern birds than lizards. The colony's organization, the repeated use of nesting grounds, and the presence of juveniles at multiple developmental stages all pointed to a kind of communal parenting unheard of in dinosaur science at the time. The Egg Mountain bone beds became a forensic gold mine. Pollen grains locked in the sediment confirmed a seasonal flood, while the close packing of skeletons revealed a synchronized nesting event. Hundreds of families wiped out in a single disaster. Horner's findings, published in the late 1970s, shattered the old stereotype of dinosaurs as neglectful, solitary giants. Instead, Myasaura stood as proof that some dinosaurs cared for their young with a devotion rivaling any modern animal. The ripple effect was immediate, textbooks changed, the public imagination caught fire, and paleontology itself shifted focus from bones to behaviours. In the end, the Myasaura mass death didn't just answer a question about dinosaur parenting, it made us ask what else we'd missed, and set the stage for decades of discovery yet to come. From the battered bones of Parasaurolophus, the ultimate survivor, to the mass death of Myasaura that redefined what it means to be a good mother lizard, these 16 dinosaur forensic cases have shattered old myths and rewritten the book on prehistoric life. Across the list, one pattern stands out. Fossilized trauma, disease, and even acts of parental sacrifice reveal dinosaurs as complex, social, and sometimes tragically vulnerable creatures. The most shocking cases, like Oviraptor dying on its eggs or the T-Rex felled by its own kind, prove that violence and care, rivalry and devotion coexisted in Cretaceous ecosystems. Our ranking focused on discoveries that didn't just add facts, but forced science to rethink everything from dinosaur parenting to the true risks of apex predation. Together, these cases show that every fossil is a time capsule of drama, adaptation, and survival. Dinosaur forensics has transformed bones into stories, giving us the clearest window yet into the lives and deaths of Earth's most legendary creatures.